happy if you were not surrounding me. When I walk in the room, Mav gets a different look in his eye. When I see that joy, there's nothing that can't make that worth it. I do know if I do anything right is that boy will be loved. I am Natalie Chanwa, WNBA vet, captain of the senior women's national team, and mother to Maverick. Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. And a little breathing room as they finish this one, and then Chanwa will help with that. A beautiful drive. If we looked at a scouting report for you, it would detail your strength. Now that's different, and not just because you're lifting a toddler and not weights. Where do you get the strength? Yeah, they call it mom strength. The power of being able to run on E, whether that's lack of food, sleep, sanity, it creates like a different beast. Ooh, teething. Last night, tried for an hour and a half to put him down to sleep, but he's got a bottom tooth coming in right here. <laughs> I say that anything you can do, a mom can do with one hand. I've learned that in my first nine months of motherhood. I got something called mother's wrist. It's inflammation from doing too much with your wrist. So I was doing a lot of my basketball workouts with my left hand for a while because I got the most mom injury ever. They say it takes a village. What have you done to create a village around you? That lady. I have Dev who comes here every weekend. She's Maverick's godmom for a reason. They say that you can have like soulmates and friendship. But Dev is truly someone special. The drive alone from Chicago, the sacrifice of time, gas, all those things. How long have you been asleep? Like 30 minutes. Do you want me to cook anything? It's a lot of work to be a professional athlete, just maintaining your body and maintaining your focus. And to do that with a child is just like to me, Crazy, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's kind of insane. I personally have a very strict no manual labor after work clause. You break your strict no manual labor clause <laughs> when you come and help Natalie. Being a godmother is extremely important to me. I do not take it lightly because my godmother was a very big part of my life because both of my parents were working a lot. Yes. Those first couple months, I definitely had some level of postpartum depression. I felt like I was behind a mirror and I was watching it happen. It's not that I didn't love Maverick. <laughs> it's like, I just couldn't feel him the way I feel him now. <laughs> Woo. And that period is where I needed Dev. She knew I needed her more than <laughs> I did. So that's where the cape came on. When I heard those triggers, it was very important to have a conversation with her about it. And at that point, just making sure I was there with Mav so she can get a break. What did you learn about yourself in that moment? Hmm. It reminded me that I can be more than a mom. I can be more than a basketball player, that I can wear these hats. One of the hats you've been wearing is activist. You fought for women's rights and rights for working moms. I wasn't a mother yet, but I knew that if my friend, colleague, or teammate needed these benefits, I needed them too. If you were out on maternity leave, you can have 100% paid salary. It used to be 50%. And living in the US, you also get to keep your health insurance, which is huge. Now, what's it like when you are allowed some time for you when the village has got your back? It makes me feel like normal to be able to have like a couple minutes to myself. I know so many moms that don't get that moment of release, that aren't backed by a village like the way I am. I'm coming back home to you. I'm coming back home. Seeing how many people truly want me to come back, to truly want me to feel whole, be a basketball player, do all the things that I want to do, it, it, it's emotional. Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you.